Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're into the uh, December Christmas season. I wanted to uh, hope you guys are having a good uh, holiday. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it actually this year uh, myself. Uh, and so I've been some, doing some Christmas shopping and checking out the new tech as well. But anyway, um, I'm here to talk about uh, a friend of mine, um, and we've been on each other's shows and live broadcasts and every other things. And this is uh, Bruce Naylor, and uh, he runs a uh, also a YouTube tech channel, Frugal Tech, I believe. And so he actually recently uh, did a video. Oh, I got to get some coffee here. And it was basically um, on on the why the iPhone sales are falling as far as the iPhone iPhone sales and the stocks are going down and so I made a lengthy reply because I love his videos um, and I'm like I should be talking about this on my channel too but so but um, go check out his channel because I, I admit sometimes I he brings up good topics that uh, I want to talk about after thinking about it and I kind of want to talk on the reasons why the iPhone sales are falling and the stock prices and everything and really to do that you have to think back why when Apple first released the iPhone, why it was popular versus what it is today. Because uh, sometimes it's consumer shop differently than they do before and, and other factors. And but back when, when the uh, Apple released the first iPhone, I believe they came out exactly at the right time. And, so, and sometimes timing is everything. Not always in this case for Apple it was. Because during the time, uh, the market slowly moved from dumb phones to what I like to call like semi-smartphones, like it had Palm OS, um, Blackberries, I think were uh, really big right before the first iPhone came out. So Apple went into the smartphone industry using an exceptional product uh, with a all touch screen of course, the user experience was really good. Well, first iPhone did have some problems. I don't think it even had an app store during that time, but uh, some base apps. But quickly with the next versions and, and above, um, it exploded because really it, it was at the time it kind of a fledgling technology. Um, and so plus uh, that's kind of what it exploded because it was so intuitive. Uh, so easy, easy to use, other uh, adopters in the Android field and so forth. So technology was, wasn't that big in, on the touchscreen side yet. So like I said, Apple came in at the right time. Now, um, of course, another big factor, uh, even though the iPhone was fairly expensive, it was subsidized by carriers. So they took a bulk of the cost. Of course, you had to buy uh, at least two years, maybe longer uh, contracts. So you were kind of stuck with a contract until you basically finished paying for the phone. Basically, that's what it was. Uh, fast forward to now, uh, the end of 2018. So the subsidized phones are now being put on the consumers now um, through increased um, payment plans. So you're basically paying for the phone maybe uh, on a monthly payments. So the cost is now going to more to the consumer. And I think we just really go to market saturation as well in smartphones. And the technology definitely has slowed down as well because it was different like back when it first came out because it was new. Uh, technology was very early in development stages. So that's why growing every year, everybody wanted a new uh, Apple iPhone every year because it, it constantly improving. Now the technology is getting so advanced that it's slowing down because I mean, what else can we do uh, besides putting maybe a Star Trek transporter in there or something like that? to advance the technology again. Now, if there's something that big that comes out quite, that's quite substantial, I could guarantee it's gonna take off yet again. 
whether it be Apple, uh, Android, another uh, brand or company, then I guarantee it'll take off again. It has to be some substantial technology. We just don't see that now and with Android phones as well. I haven't seen really great innovation technology come out of it, just minor incremental and it's both for the iPhone and Android doesn't really matter who it is I mean yeah there are a few exceptions and all that and so th those are kind of my thoughts on the reason why Apple did so well initially and I knew over time it couldn't last forever and we're seeing that now and it's uh, see there's some people saying well they don't innovate enough I'm like well why doesn't the Android phone market innovate just as much as Apple. I mean, uh, they used uh, Apple's as a springboard, which is a good thing because that gives more choice, uh, more competition, hopefully lower prices. And give you my example, um, uh, I've been on an Apple iPhone, or three different ones, and uh, the Apple, my latest one was the Apple um, 5S. Which is a great phone. I mean, the Apples are great phones. And I've kind of, I actually went to my first Android phone, which is an LG V30, which I love, absolutely love, <clears throat> but for a different reason. And I didn't get an Android phone because, oh, Apple's not innovating. It's because um, the phone hardware <clears throat> and the software. Um, that phone is basically kind of geared toward content creation, videotography, photography. You can take raw photos. Um, the camera, you can go all manual. Uh, exposure, of the aperture, everything. Um, you can take log, Cinelog footage. I mean, this is like monumental for a cell phone. And I put Filmic Pro giving even more options. So that was a totally different reason why I went with Android. And there are pro, pros and cons with Apple and Android as well. Um, but now I'm kind of going off on something else. Just to let you know, I'm not geared toward Apple, even though they are my preference, at least for a desktop computer right now. That could change. I may go to a PC. And if I do, I may geared toward Linux and DaVinci Resolve. And well, again, I'm uh, going off. So. I don't think it's necessarily Apple not innovating. Of course, their prices have went up for their flagship flagship phones. Uh, suppose I heard the price as much as with all the options, uh, fifteen hundred. Of course, they do have a wide range of price of prices for every budget. I think they even come out with a uh, new was that iPhone SE. Of course, I know that was way back when, but I, I think they come out with another one. I admit I haven't been keeping up with the cell phone technology. Because, uh, like I said, there isn't uh, that great, exciting, and new, and I've kind of been concentrating more on the desktop and other things. But occasionally, if something monumental comes out in the cell phone, I'll definitely like to cover it for the future. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.